everybody, Ron Harris here, MD Online Editor. And uh, the biggest story of the week has been Sean Ray and the interview he did with uh, Dave at another station, another channel. And uh, I did not want to make any type of response video, commentary video, but Muscular Development's name got dragged into this by both Chris Aceto and Nick Trigilli. Who are you reporting for and by? Are you still a, an employee of Muscular Development? Are you still an editor? So I do need to first up front clear up one thing that Sean Ray is not an employee of Muscular Development. He resigned from Muscular Development in early September of 2017, over four years ago, at which time he went off to work for Generation Iron for a brief time. Uh, and then at some point he uh, became the online editor for Digital Muscle, the uh, website and YouTube channel owned by Jake Wood, who also owns the Olympia brand, of course. And uh, yeah, so that's the first thing I want to clear up because people say, why do they keep him on as employee? Well, Sean is not an employee. He was an employee, did a great, great job. And uh, that, was, that was a while ago. It's been over four years since he has not been part of our company. So I need to get that out of the way first because that is misinformation. Second thing, they say, why did, why did the MD put him on the cover? You know, in light of all this, well, the cover that's out now is the November issue with Sean Ray on the cover. That cover, uh, that issue was put together in September. If you know anything about magazine production schedules, uh, that's why we have a YouTube channel because we need to get news out there fast. Social media and YouTube can get out immediately. Whereas with print magazines, we're still limited by the constraints of having to, you know, put them together, lay them out, send them off to a printer, get them printed, distributed, all that mailed out. Now, uh, I do need to talk about the video. I did not agree with some of the things Sean said, for sure. If you thought I was going to come on here and just say, leave Sean alone, I'm not going to do that because Sean did put his foot in his mouth. And I've done that many times. I've been guilty of saying some things that I shouldn't have said, uh, either in the heat of the moment or just uh, wasn't thinking. Uh, this interview was done. Uh, Sean confided to me very, very, it was, it, it came together so quickly. Dave reached out to him, said, you know, Dave wanted to get it up right away said, when can we talk? And Sean was available in a few minutes. So he didn't have time to compose his thoughts or anything, but still uh, the one comment that uh, <clears throat> I think resonated with most people and angered a lot of people, especially Guy Sister Nino, Chris Aceto, uh, two guys who knew him very well was when he says, uh, he responded to Dave, he said, I know that Sean had some drug issues as well. <clears throat> and he did try to, say he was referring to PEDs, but I'm pretty sure he was talking about recreational drugs and he was mistaken. Uh, Sean Roden did go through a, a period of alcoholism uh, for six or eight months after his father died years ago and he was out of the sport. He left our sport for almost seven years, came back, turned pro and then began his pro career. So he did struggle with alcoholism following the death of his father, who he was very close to. Um, but Nobody has ever said anything. I've never heard him about him being a recreational drug user, certainly not an addict. Uh, there are plenty of recreational drug users in bodybuilding. He was not one of them. So uh, Sean did misspeak there. But again, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because it was you know, heat of the moment. Dave's firing questions at him. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> he did say he was really upset about these all the bodybuilders dying and wanted to sort of make that interview a cautionary tale against other body you know so other bodybuilders would listen and hopefully be safe get their blood work done get the all the medical screening that they should with the uh the echocardiograms the calcium scores all that which is very important i absolutely support getting that message out there because i do think a lot of bodybuilders don't take care of their health it's it's dangerous enough that we and i say we because i'm a steroid user myself i'm not pointing the finger of blame at these pros just because they're might be using more and they're bigger and it's more apparent but you know, we do need to take responsibility for our own health. And I agree with that. Uh, I don't think it was right to even insinuate for a minute that Sean was a recreational drug addict. Um, <clears throat> I agree with Sean Ray that it's possible. And, you know, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a medical examiner who did an autopsy or anything like that. There's been nothing like that that's come out yet. But I do agree that carrying a lot of size for anybody, whether it be Sean at age 46 or anybody, carrying a 300 pounds, a 290, whatever it was, it's not healthy, but you know what? This is not a healthy sport. It's not. 
can't pretend it is, can't say it is, it's not, it's not a healthy sport. It's not healthy to use the amounts of steroids and the combinations of steroids and other drugs that bodybuilders use to attain that look that wins contests in 2021. Before you start questioning, you know, why he died or what, what his death means in the grand scheme of bodybuilding and where we need to go moving forward from here to try to make sure this doesn't happen again and again, which unfortunately it's going to. Uh, we're seeing we're seeing a lot of bodybuilders passing away, and I, I don't see it. I don't see that trend reversing itself anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, but again, I wanted to make it clear that uh, this is not to throw Sean under the bus, but because both Chris Aceto and Nick Tragilli were speculating that he's still part of muscular development, especially Nick. You know, they're questioning why do we still keep him on. Just to be clear, Sean has not been an employee of muscular development or advanced research media as our company, our parent company, since September of 2017. Um, so it's been over four years. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, listening and uh, just want to clear that up. <clears throat> and because this is YouTube and this is a YouTube channel that we want more people to be part of and subscribe to, I will throw that out there. Please subscribe to the channel. We, we do want subscribers. Um, so <laughs> I have to throw that out there because this is not just uh, our own amusement. It's, it's a business. This is all a business, but uh, that's it. That's all I had to say. Just want to get that out there to make things clear. Um, I hope this whole situation resolves itself very soon. Sean did make his apology video, you know, whether or not you felt it was sincere or complete or whatever the case may be, he did make the video, put it out on the social media. I asked him to come on for an interview and he is not doing any more interviews, which I totally understand. So this has been my reaction video uh, to Sean Ray's interview with Dave and the subsequent apology that he made. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.